In one of our previous episodes, we looked at the basics of the color picker, but today we're delving deep into color palettes. You can find color palettes in the third tab of the color picker, just here. Vectornator automatically comes with all of these color palettes you see here, but it's really important to know how to create your own and how to manage them efficiently. Let's start off with this plus button here, which reveals three options. Let's start with Create. Now, an empty color palette was just generated for you to have fun with here. If I tap on the plus again, whichever color I used last, or whichever color is selected, is added to my brand new palette. Another way to add colors is by using the eyedropper tool and picking up any color on your canvas. Don't forget to click on plus to add it. But I can also just drag and drop any color from anywhere. If you've changed your mind, just drag it back or right click to remove it. The second option on the list is import, which allows you to import any swatches or ASE files straight from your device. Swatches are color palettes native to Procreate. Since that's an iPad only app, you can just airdrop yourself the files from one device to another. But ASE files can be super useful since they come from the PC or Mac native Adobe. So you can seamlessly transfer all your palettes between Adobe and Vectornator without the extra sweat. And instead of going the plus button route, you can just drag and drop them from your finder directly onto the palettes tab. Speaking of effortless imports, here's a brand new way to create a color palette by importing it from an image. Let's access palettes from the color widget this time. Click on plus and then from photo and select any image that you have on your device or on iCloud. This works wonders when you're getting your groove on with palettes from platforms like Color Hunt, where you have the option to download the palette image, and then you're just a few clicks away from setting it up in Vectornator. All right, now that we've created our palette here, let's give it a name. So just click on this expandable menu here. This is super useful for when you're working with and creating palettes for multiple projects. When you want to find a specific palette, just look for it in the search bar up top. And what's more, Anything that we set as primary, which you can do by clicking this option here, will also reside in the primary tab, so you don't have to constantly go back and forth between tabs. Easy access means an easy workflow. Okay, the last cool thing I want to show you is that in our latest update, you can sync all of your assets through iCloud. So any custom palettes or custom brushes that you've created are now available across all of your Apple devices. Just make sure that you have iCloud sync enabled in preferences. That's it for this Academy episode. Next up, more color. In the next video, we're gonna focus on the anatomy of our last tab here, called the Effects tab. So I'll see you then, bye.